And speaking of designing your life, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. what we want to talk about in this part of the show is choosing your home mm-hmm. and how your home should reflect how you want to live. Right. Because you spend most of your time there. You entertain friends and family there. Mm-hmm. And you have to make sure it feels a certain way. Why every day you're there? Mm-hmm. So some questions you ask yourself, get a pen and paper, is as I'm driving or as I'm arriving at this new place I'm going to look at, Mm -hmm. how am I feeling? Mm. How are the views? Are they beautiful views? Mm -hmm. Are they challenging views? Mm -hmm. And I think a good example is that is when we started to do our house hunt, Mm -hmm. that's what we did. Mm -hmm. Let somebody else drive you around. We were constantly looking out the window. We were figuring out the traffic patterns Mm -hmm. and we were looking at what was the approach Mm -hmm to this every day because you're going to do this every day whether you leave or come what does it feel like what's the vibe and one thing that we notice about the home that we currently live in Mm -hmm. is we drive along gw parkway Mm -hmm. and if you've ever driven along gw parkway coming out of the city it is amazing the views are amazing Mm -hmm. and i'll I'll try to pop them in here but their views of georgetown university Mm -hmm. their views of the waterfront Mm -hmm. And then you turn into the place where you're going to go to get to this home. And that was a big plus for us. Absolutely. The other thing you want to ask yourself is, okay, I'm on the road. Is it bumpy road? Mm -hmm. Is it a messed up road? (laughs) Is it smooth? And Uh is navigation easy? Is it easy to turn into the neighborhood? Is it easy to turn into where the home is? Mm -hmm. There's this house down the street from us, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful house okay it even sits back from the street yeah you can't really see it you just see the driveway right but let me tell y'all something <laughs> it's on the corner of an intersection uh-huh a busy intersection yeah the the entrance to the house mm-hmm. they've been trying to sell that house for over two years yeah it's crazy mm-hmm. it's, it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard you don't want that mm-hmm. the other thing you want to look at what are the services near my home right can i get to a grocery store and get some food when the weather is inclement mm-hmm can I get, uh, can I run out and meet a friend close by at a nice restaurant? Mm-hmm. Is it easy to get to the shopping malls if I need to run out and get something? Yep. Uh, if you have pets, how close are those services for your for your pet? Yep. You have to think about where do I walk my pet? Mm-hmm. Is there some place that I can play with my pet? Yep. We don't have any pets, but we did think about things like this because you just never know. You right. just never know. Right, right, right. So. You want to think about that also, too. Don't just look at how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Think about these things, too. The other thing I want you to do as you're going and walking or driving up, when you drive up Mm -hmm. or walk up to the door, what's the first word that comes to your mind? Mm. When you pull up and see the outside, Mm -hmm. how are you greeted? Right. If you're not being greeted, when you open the door, what what is that feeling, that feeling? rushes towards you Mm -hmm. okay is it a blocked view is it a beautiful view Mm -hmm. does it smell Mm -hmm. if it smells why does it smell (laughs) is it a good smell is it a bad smell Uh so think about these things as you walk in as you open the door as you're greeted right and take it into account Mm -hmm. now when you get there stop stop feel it imagine yourself walking in and coming home every day Mm-hmm. Is it what you envisioned? Yep. If not, next. <laughs> it's that simple. You design your life. Be you, what's the vibes? Be quiet. What's the overall situation? Listen. How does it look? But also, how does it make you feel? Walk around. Just be quiet. Let who, if somebody talking to you, just let them talk. Mm-hmm. Just let them talk. Listen. Mm-hmm. Walk around. Ask questions. The first question that pops into your head, mm-hmm. ask it. Yeah. That's your spirit still saying, ask this question, please. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, because spirit can see more than you can see. Right, right, right. And you you have to learn to trust it. Mm-hmm. If it has an odor, say, what do you think that smell is? Mm-hmm. Open the cabinets. Look in the drawers. Yeah. Right? I look for bugs, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I'm from Florida. Mm-hmm. I'm used to bugs. But I also know when there's an infestation and when there isn't. Because <laughs> in D.C., you have to be aware of these things. Mm-hmm. Where does the sun come up? Which way is the sun coming? If y'all can see this, we're in our bedroom. And the sun is amazing Mm -hmm. in here. The sun wakes us up every morning. There's a window I can open in my bedroom, Uh and we can watch the sun rise. What? Uh What? When you look out the window, what are you looking at? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Right. Okay? Take pictures that you can look at later. Mm -hmm. Right? Take pictures. 
take click take take pictures of everything mm -hmm. take pictures you can look at later because mm -hmm. you're going to see things in those pictures later that you didn't see walking that's around very true. That's very don't true. let anybody rush you either uh -huh. that's another thing if they're rushing you rushing you mm -hmm. say you know what maybe this isn't the place for me right right, right right if you hang if you like it we suggest you hang out for at least an hour mm -hmm. look out the windows mm -hmm. go walk around outside relax yeah. in the environment sit on the floor so you can feel its energy what is it saying to you what is it speaking to you in your spirit we did that when we when we came to this house we had we to did. tell you our story we did and you're definitely making these decisions based on faith and not fear, right? And so right. that's connected to what Trace was just saying about if people are pressing you or if you feel some kind of pressure to make the decision, you want you want this decision to be in, in tune with your spirit, right? And so make sure that you're that you're comfortable and that you're at peace with the things that you're feeling and experiencing. So we had looked about it looked at about five four or five houses before we saw this home. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't have any attachment to any of the previous homes we looked at. There's one that I really wanted, but just from looking at it on the outside, it wasn't speaking to me. Mm -hmm. I did love the inside, mm -hmm. but the outside did not speak to me at all. Right. And when I say the outside, I mean the houses that were surrounding it, the streetscape. They were building a house next door, so I had to figure out, well, is that something I'm trying to deal with for six months? Mm -hmm. Just things like that. And then you didn't know who that neighbor was going to be. Right. So I was a little turned off when we, I'd been looking at it online, but when we finally got to see it, I was a little turned off. Mm -hmm. So when we came to this house, I felt a little down mm -hmm. because I felt like the previous house was the home that I had focused on. Right, right. So when we pulled up to this house, I immediately didn't, I just didn't like it. <laughs> the reason I didn't like it was because it was what? It was well over. It was well over. It was over our budget. Oh, it was well over our budget. <laughs> but everybody insisted upon seeing it. Uh -huh. And so as someone who was not bringing income at the time, you have to check your mindset, too, when you're mm -hmm. looking for a home. Right, right. As someone who was uh, not working at the time, mm -hmm. and we only had one income mm -hmm. at the time, mm -hmm. I just felt like it wasn't smart. It just right. wasn't the smart thing to do. Right. So when I looked at the home, I said, I don't like it. I ain't even come in it. I ain't even come in the house. You but me and the kids were like, yo, this is dope. We Yo. were in this house for two hours. Yo, the first look at this time. room. I had my nose Yo, turned look at up this the whole yard. time, but I didn't feel bad. Yo. I didn't feel bad about the house. So what I did was I took a bunch of pictures. I took mm -hmm. a bunch of pictures of everything, mm -hmm. and then I thought about it mm -hmm. when we got home. And mm -hmm. I was like, "Gosh, we're in this time crunch. We have to move. This is the only house. God, why is this house in my head? <laughs> this house is." It was well over. I'm talking well over what we were trying to spend. And it just didn't sit well. It, it didn't, didn't sit with it me. It didn't sit well. It didn't sit well with me. But you know what I focused on? Mm -hmm. I focused on it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to find the right house. Do you know we woke up the next day? And mm -hmm. what, no, what, no, 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 no. We, 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 we released it. And Did we? And we, uh, went, we, it went we went. Months. We went into it. We negotiated, but yeah. it didn't get to where we needed it to be. Right, right, right. So, so we, we waited it. another what? Another month or two. No, it wasn't two months. No. No, because we came in July. We moved. Mm -hmm. We came in June. Mm -hmm. So it was like a couple weeks later. No, it's happened? about a month later. I disagree. <laughs> but anyway, after we negotiated and didn't get it to where we wanted it, they lowered the price. We they, walked they away didn't from rent it to any, what, anybody else. They didn't give it to anybody else. So, they lowered the price. So they reached out to us. They were like, yo, y'all still interested? Y'all still interested? And I was like, we what's like, the price? I was like, yes. We were like, okay, yeah, yes, but we yes, got to have this. Yes, and but we, we still have, need we our things. Up. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know we got everything, y'all. Got everything we wanted. So the next thing I want to say is think about what you want. Mm. Think about how you want to live there. Nuggets. There were some things in the basement. She was like, oh, yeah, that's going to stay in the basement, my mom. I was like, no, no, like, no. No, ma'am. No, no. No, it's not. <laughs> and they changed it. And it's not a mean thing. Right. It's not. It's like what, it's do, what do you, you need? want and what do you need? Mm -hmm. Pay what it, it, to pay. Focus mm -hmm. on that. It's mm -hmm. your space. Right. It's your space. They have mm -hmm. no authority over you. Mm -hmm. It's your space. Right. Thank you, baby, for that lesson in mindset today. Dream about it. Talk about it like it's yours. <laughs> 